Space Watch, 2018 was a big year for space exploration. From private rocket launches to NASA's probes landing on Mars and then traveling towards the sun. But 2019 could see even more spectacular achievements. Joining me now from Laurel, Maryland is CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. Bill, thanks so much for being here. On New Year's Day, NASA's new Horizon spacecraft will zoom by an object that is one billion miles past Pluto making it the first spacecraft to explore any objects this far. Or what are the researchers hoping to learn from this and how significant is this mission? Well, I think it's very significant. It is historic, in fact, as you said, it's the farthest object any man-made or human-made spacecraft has ever attempted to visit. And of course, they're hoping what it's going to do is fill in a lot of the blanks about how the solar system formed. This body, and they've nicknamed it Ultima Thule, this thing is orbiting, as you said, 4.1 billion miles from the sun, and it's in a realm called the Kuiper Belt. All of these objects out there, and there are countless bodies out there in the frigid outer reaches of the solar system, are left over from the formation of the solar system. These are the, the raw materials or the building blocks uh, that went into the planets that we're all familiar with. So they're hoping that by studying this one up close and personal, they're going to get a lot of insight into how that process happened. What was the nature of the raw materials that formed the solar system? How did they come together? On and on. They're extremely excited about this mission. All right. So what's next for NASA heading into 2019? What can we expect to see in the new year? Well, first of all, you mentioned that Mars lander, InSight. It's on Mars, and it'll begin its science operations this year. But I think the story that's going to rivet everybody's attention uh, is the development by Boeing and SpaceX of commercial cruise ships. These are uh, capsules that are going to carry astronauts to and from the International Space Station under contract to NASA. Uh, it'll be the first time Americans have launched on U.S.-built rockets from U.S. soil since the space shuttle stopped flying back in 2011. And of course, ever since then, NASA's been paying the Russians up to $80 million a seat to carry astronauts to the space station. They're hoping to end that sole reliance in 2019 and start launching people once again on U.S. spacecraft. The first test flight of one of these rockets, and it's a SpaceX rocketing capsule, scheduled for late January. It could slip a little bit, perhaps into February, but it's right around the corner. And if those flights go well, the first flights with people on board could be happening in the spring time frame. That's a very big deal, and I think that's going to capture a lot of attention on the space front. Well, you make a great point. I mean, this past year, it's been a big one, not just for NASA, but also for private space travel. We have Virgin Galactic spaceship. Uh, there are two rockets to reach the edge of space and then return safe, safely to Earth. What else do you expect from private space travel this year? Well, SpaceX is going to press ahead with their orbital launches. They're using their Falcon 9 rocket to carry supplies to the space station. As I mentioned, eventually people to the station. And of course, Elon Musk is designing a big new rocket. He calls it the Starship. Uh, that's going to be launching, at least in test flights, we think, uh, sometime this year. So that's going to be pretty exciting. You mentioned Virgin Galactic. Well, you, uh, Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin, which is a company owned by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, they're both developing systems to carry uh, space tourists, if you will, to the very edge of space. Now, these rockets won't go into orbit, uh, but they'll give tourists university researchers, experiments, five to seven minutes of weightlessness, uh, very short up and down flights, but they're out of the discernible atmosphere and in space. It's possible both uh, Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin will begin flying people this year, and that's certainly uh, been a long time coming, and everybody's waiting to see that happen. Well, it's interesting to hear Bezos getting into space. It would be cool if my Amazon Prime came with uh, some space tourism <laughs> perks, but I don't know if that's going to happen just yet. Bill Harwood, thank you so much for joining us. Sure thing.